Once again, we back in the smoke box for Be Real TV. You know, a lot of y'all, without me even saying, got to know this man in the passenger seat. This is my good friend, Paul Wall, right here. Paul Wall, baby, Already, you know baby. what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And uh, it's good to finally have you in the box, yeah, man. You know thank what I'm you, saying? Thank here, you me. light up first, because yeah, you, you, you guess and yeah. shit. And, and I just got to say, man, you know, uh, you know, I appreciate the work you do out there, man. And, you know, as an artist and and being an artist, because you're an artist on two ends, you know, sure. obviously making the music, you're, you know, musician, you write, you get out there and, and, and get in the studio and record <laughs> and do shows. You're an artist in that regard, but you are also an artist in the jewelry world because of, you know, the grills and shit. So, you know, artistry upon artistry. You yeah. keep busy, man. Yeah. And that's yeah. what I like, man. I like to see motherfuckers just that branch out and do other things. And, and you already, came, you came in the game with that. Yeah. Well, I just had that always mentality, man. My OGs always taught me you gotta have more than one hustle. Even in the streets, you can't just, if you sell dope, you gotta do more than sell just back. one kind of dope. You gotta sell more than one, cause you know, it might be a drought for this, you gotta switch to something else. You know what I'm saying? Or eventually, whatever you do, if you, you know, work at one job, you gotta have a, uh, something you do on the weekends too as a side hustle. That's right. If, you're, if all you got is one job, period, man, you know what I'm saying? You're missing out on a lot. That's right, you gotta have the fallback. Yeah, so you, yeah, you always gotta have some type of multiple hustles, man. So I always was just taught you gotta have multiple hustles. So, you know, the, everything I love, it just was, you know, okay, well, that's what I wanna sell, cause I love it, cause I can sell it. I can that's sell, right. you know, you, you can sell something you love, cause I know all about it. So when it comes to the jury, that's something I always wanna grill. All the people I looked up to, the people that had the most money, they all the had flies, jewelry. cars, they had nice grills and jewelry. So, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to be like them. I wanted the grills too. You know, the same jewelry too. Once I got them, I said to man, I, you know, I, I could sell these, man, because I know. Matter of fact, the dude, the first person I bought my grill from, he came selling grills in my neighborhood. He set up a shop. I said, man, look, let me promote your shop. In exchange, I just want you to give me the wholesale cost on the grill. That way, he ain't even come out of his pocket to give me the wholesale for my grill, because I want to shit on him. And then I, we, we, we did that. And I brought so much clientele that, you know, he just taught me how to do them. I set up my own shops here and there, you know, I started selling grill. Damn, and see, and that's the, I think that hustle applied to your to how you go with music because you're doing a lot of different shit with the music. You started off in the game by yourself and then you started doing all these collabs <laughs> and then, co like, group collabs. Oh, <coughs> yeah. <coughs> so I see, you know, <coughs> you keep that hustle rolling even into yeah. the music like that. Well, well as an artist, man, people... Man, they get kind of scared to take chances sometimes. You know, artists sometimes, you know, I, I, I always like the music when my favorite artists collab, that was always the dopest to me, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. if you can, you know, if you fuck with somebody and you always in the studio with them, that's where you're going to do a bunch of songs together. And, you know, in this day and age, man, you know, them collab projects, man, it'd be, you get two artists from different parts of the country or just with two different types of styles or two similar style, whatever, man. But when you put two artists together like that, man, you always come up with something, you know, thorough, man. So I always like, man, whoever people I fuck with, I was fans of, it was always like, man, shit, I'm a fan of you, man. I want to do a project with you, not just a song. Let's do a whole mixtape or something, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, and, so. and I seen that you collabed a lot with Travis Barker, yep. which is another homie out yep. there, you know, shout out. You know, you, you created some good What's chemistry up? with the, with with Trav over there. Yeah, well, he. I mean, first of all, he the dopest. So you know what I'm saying. Yeah, who, who ain't a fan who, of Travis? Who ain't a fan all, of Travis dope, Barker? Yeah, Shout out to sure. Travis. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying, but you know they, you know what I'm saying, yeah, like just like that, you know, I'm a fan of his his art. You know, and what he saying? was a fan of yours. Yeah, exactly. And, and then also, you know, when you get to uh, know people too, man. Uh, this other thing, man, when you in the, in the music game, man, you get to meet all different type of people. Sometimes you meet people. And you, you you a fan of, and after you meet them, you're not a you fan, ain't a of, them. fan of them. Yeah, that's some real people shit. you might meet them and you don't really fuck with them, but once you meet them, man, I'm a fan of them now. That's real you know, so, shit. You know, so but he he one of them type of people, man. Travis Skinner, well, they you know where you know they 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 solid. You know what I'm saying? Like Travis, man, what how he is as a father, he like a good he a good it's role a good model dude. to young people like us. Yeah. So when you become fathers, or this is how what you you know the roles you need to take as a father. Yeah, he's, he's a always dude, a positive know? dude in that sure. sense for sure. You know what I mean? He always keeps it positive. Yeah, though. yeah, and, yeah. And, 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 you know, I noticed for a time y'all were training together because you dropped a lot yep, of weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. We both, uh, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you man. inspired me, yeah, man. So, man. I so, saw that that weight drop. Yeah. I was like, look at Paul, man. He don't even look like Paul. Yeah, my can't, I can't be fat forever, man. You, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? And that drink, man, that drink put some weight on you, man. You yeah, know what it man? does, so, for real. Shit, I had to lose that weight. That, truth be told, <laughs> that shit inspired me right there. I saw, <laughs> I saw how hard you went at it, and I was like, you know what, man? 
I'm making on my game too, man. So thank you yeah, for that. For sure, man. You know what I'm Because I follow my friends. Yeah, yeah. You know that. I, I watch what my friends do and shit. <coughs> and I saw that and I was like, get it, Paul. And yeah. then that, you know, that, that actually gave me some inspiration. Man, you know the, I mean? the UFC, man, I love mixed martial arts, man. And UFC, when you see the, the t- a lot of UFC fighters, like, it's just a normal clothes. They don't, you don't want to think, yeah, you, you know, yeah. yeah. So, because some of them look geekish. Yeah. So, knowing that, it made me question myself, like, okay, well, you know, one of, some little punk on the street might try to test, but I got to be on my game. Cause, you know what I'm saying? Game, you yeah. you got to size people up differently now than you used to. You yeah. Because I mean? everybody yeah. trains yeah. now. At least they yeah. say they do. Yeah, yeah. And then you never know if somebody's bluffing or if they really, you know, they really get yeah. down like that. So, yeah. you got to yeah. be down with yeah. yours. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real. How long were you training for? Uh, we did it. We did it for about a year, maybe a year and a half. It's good. You got shit. a good handle on yeah, some yeah. of that shit. Uh, yeah, yeah. I still, I still go every now and then. You know, shit, do my thing. Uh, yeah. Do my little pickup course. You know, get in there. In case you won't pull money for them grills, you yeah, bust it right collect, out. Baby, and yeah, we pull, pull, to pull them grills right yeah. back the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, hi, you know. <coughs> what? How, how much? Let's say there was a percentage in hip hop, right? Let's just say you know you got. Hundred percent, right? Mm-hmm. Obviously. How many? What percentage of the rap world has your grills in their shit? It's tough to say because we we do wholesale for a lot of other jewelers. Ah, so, right. You know, even if they didn't get it from us, they still got it. From got them. it from. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, it's tough to say, man. And it's it's a lot of jewelers now that are doing grills all over the world. You know, in the country, Knock, but the world too. knocking off shit. Yeah. So you know, it's it's tough to say, but we got a we got a good nice percentage. You, you got a good saying? nice got, percentage. Yeah, yeah they more like they they, they want the grill. they want the real shit. Yeah. You know Give us some Diamond Boys, as we call ourselves, me and my boy Johnny Dang. Yeah. You know Word up. Diamond Met him at the. Yeah, yeah. There, we got the Dr. Green Thumb Grill coming. Oh, that's it's coming. It's on deck, man. man. But, you know, we got a secret. It's coming soon. Word up. So, you know, a lot of people probably didn't know in the beginning, but people know now you be chiefing hard. Oh, yeah. I mean, you be yeah. chiefing with Baby Bash oh, yeah, all yep. the time. We yep. see that on yes, IG. Sir. And, and, and you know, you're doing a project yeah. with Baby yep. Bash, and it's centered around. The whole, the whole chief movement. The, the, the green, the, the green rush. The green rush. Yeah, man. You know me, me. Um, and I like Bash. that because I know y'all be chiefing. Yeah. I chief with Bash. He got a line of joints coming out. You know, yeah, in those yeah, boxes, yeah. The you know what I'm finals. saying? People may not know that about Bash, but he's been in the smoke box. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And he showed people that, yeah. that shit. And there's some quality shit in there. When, when Texas, man, you know the, the legalization on weed, man, is. It's, it's, getting, it's getting closer, it's getting but better. in the past, you know, 10, 15 years, man, it's been, it's come a long it's way. Let me just say that. Oh, I know that. You know, so, she, so you know. Texas was zero. It's one color. of them things where we would we would talk about it in music, but we wouldn't really put it out there. Like, you know, back in our age when we was doing our music, it wasn't on Instagram and Twitter, so we yeah, ain't yeah. put it out there like that. You know, we yeah. did our thing, but, you know, we, but we just ain't put it out there. It was more on the low. Now you can smoke in public more, you know. Everybody knows you smoke. Texas is everywhere. opening up. Yeah, so, you know it's, what I'm saying? Because, yes. Soon, if, because, yes. It, back in the day, if like in the '90s, right mm. when we was touring, if they caught you with the seed, if that, if that uh, ranger t- or yeah. whatever, whatever, you know, if, if he wanted to be an asshole, that's yeah. ten years just for that seed yeah. right there. Yeah. So if you got caught with joints, yeah. you know, bud oh, or some hash, whew, you yeah. was out of here. Now, so to see it yeah. go from where it is now, so you, do, so, so yeah, we just represent with that with me, baby. Matter of fact, me, baby, Bash and Scoop Deville, we call it the legalizers. We like a uh, Scoop Deville. Yeah, yeah. Scoop Deville. I know y'all man. are getting that yeah, fire. Yeah, track yeah, shit. yeah, man. You know, man, that's what the truth, man. Shout out Scoop Deville. But yeah, it's all like you know, all marijuana music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, uh, you know, so we got some dope stuff. We got a song. Let me tell you about the time, and we all telling our story about smoking with the smoke god. Let me tell you oh, about the time shit. I smoked the Cypress Hill. Y'all gonna hear it when it comes soon, man. And me, baby, I gotta Bash, hear that. Man. We all got dope verses cause you know y'all, y'all, like you said man back in them days when that shit was you know illegal to the utmost yeah. you know what I'm saying for the Tabble wrong reasons shit. too yeah man y'all was being stand, you know standing strong and being solid and being firm about being pro marijuana you know what I'm saying not just because it was you know the thing to do but because y'all was standing for something it's a lifestyle to come along with this you know what I'm saying so y'all was you know y'all was really y'all y'all the Mount Rushmore with you know what I'm saying right there that. you know so I appreciate that and that's a dope idea 
out of like all the shit I've heard, like you know, it's, it's, it's a memorable thing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? When people, when you smoke with be real, you ain't gonna forget it. You know what I'm saying? Your first time, shit. That's some people. You know, it's on the bucket list. You know what I'm saying? Word and right. I, and it's just something we thought about. You know, so we made a song about it. It's dope. You know, yeah. we gonna shoot the video. We gonna get you in the video. Okay, the video. you know I'm there. You don't need. To, you just gotta say when. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The hey, project. So, yeah. So where, when's it coming out? Uh, sometime this year, later on this year. It's called the Legalizers. The Legalizers. Yeah. I like that. That just has a ring to it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's just gonna be ridiculous. <coughs> I gotta tell you, man, that shit, that shit's gonna be fucking fire. I already know, hands down. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I see that um, you brought a jar of, of of some OG in here, but this is your line of OG. Yeah, right yeah. Here. It's called Satellite Supply. Satellite Supply. It's like a you know clothing company, along with the, you know the trees, everything, all right there, man. It's OG, the top notch, man. It got the best taste. You know what I'm saying? It's the truth, right there, man. Yeah, I tasted some earlier. It is very nice. I gotta say, so so that's that's what a, one of the the things you're venturing into, yeah. put, uh, putting your own brand <laughs> out there. I like the satellite <laughs> name. Yeah, that's got that's yeah. also got a ring to yeah, it. Yeah, you know we up there. Branded right, boy. You know, hey, I gotta say, say shit. Well, you know, shit. You know, we just try to represent, man. You know, especially down in Texas. You know, what I'm saying it's it's like something I gotta I gotta you know stand. This is what we doing. You know, what I'm saying yeah. represent for the social. You that's what we doing. And uh, you know, I got a lot of things like we did. Uh, I did a, a collab with Trippy Sticks. So uh, that was a couple years ago. We did a, a pin together, me and Trigger Sticks. We got another one coming. We got an Ur herbal unit coming. You know what I'm saying? So we got a new one coming with that. And uh, you know, just a few other things. So, so if if uh, Texas starts allowing collectives, you thinking of opening up? Oh man, you already know, man. Yeah, we got the locations got plotted out. We got them skin. I've been taking my research, Sell talking to other people. Already got there. them. We got everything, baby. Oh my yeah. god, so we waiting. It ain't too far away, man. We Come on, you gotta invite me when yeah, you already. Shit. You already know, <laughs> baby, for sure. So I was gonna ask you what what your favorite strain was, but obviously your favorite got to yeah. be that satellite shit. Well, I, I like you know I just like I, I'm I like to smoke backwoods. I just like to smoke swishers. I like to smoke paper. So you yeah, know, we got you on the white one, girl right yeah, there. Yeah, 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 with that funky fuel tip already. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Well, depending on what I'm smoking, I smoke my weed to go with it. So you know what I'm saying? Especially where when we in Texas, you know all the weed ain't always the best. You know what I'm saying? By the time yeah. we get it, it's a little drier. You know, right, the taste right. ain't always the the cookie ain't yeah. always. It's fresh in Texas. It's, it's not some outlaw yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. But we, we, that, we smoke a lot of cookie in Texas, you know what I'm saying? That's all yeah. that thing. And then the satellite, of course, you know what I'm saying? The satellite got, you know what I'm saying? It's got that shit. You don't need much else. But yeah, yeah. it's always good to have different flavors out yeah. there. Oh, you know yeah, man. You and I think that's going to open up because yeah. once Texas opens yeah. up and uh, growers from all around see opportunity, you know, they'll fucking roll into Texas because yeah. that game will open up. Texas is about money, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm exactly. saying? And and they will support the culture yeah. because there's a big weed culture, Bruh. you know, legalized yeah. culture in Texas. Man, they, they show the statistics of all the tourism as soon as Colorado opened the legalization up, recreation. Washington. Up. Yeah, but they, the statistics, it was like, man, I came in, it was like 40% of, uh, of the people, the tourism was from Texas. So that you know, the people in Texas, they coming from all the oil money. They want to go over yeah, there. They, they got the oil money. They they seeing that this is the new. They coming from off of the recessions for right. losing money, all of that. And you know, so now they like, okay, well, they, they they even though they used to they old ways. A lot of people say Texas is gonna be far from legalization, but I don't think so because you know they see them dollar signs. They see the dollar you know signs. You know what I'm saying? And they and they calculating the math on how the, how much money is being made. And they seen okay with well, forty percent of that money. Shit, that's supposed to be our money. Shit. Yeah, that's how they see. I'll tell you what, if, if guys like you and, and Bash from there can be like the ambassadors for it and like, you know, charge that that, you know, yeah. that whole campaign and, and like show how it works, I think y'all can do it because I think it's just about, you know, having some some prominent names that are in the culture go yeah. up there and like speak for it and y'all are like homegrown right there, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you can speak to it, speak for it and be the model for yeah, it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, so, and and when you doing that, you pioneering shit out there in Texas because I mean yeah. who else could do it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of people with money that, that will invest and go make these businesses, but the, the, the power of your name and Bash's name to be able to market the shit that you guys do. Yeah. That even speaks to like political shit. Like 
going into Texas and telling the, 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 the people of voting age, you know, hey, we need to push this legislation to make this shit happen. You know what I'm saying? And that's some to- that's some shit y'all can totally do because it is on the cusp. <coughs> I've heard shit, you know, like, yeah. you know, through the, the weed world that Texas is right there. Yeah. It's like... And that's, that's kind of what we was thinking with, with the legalizing. We trying to be like marijuana superheroes. You know what I'm saying? That's what you need to be. Hell yeah. Hey man, anytime you need some some superhero help, yes sir. You know what yeah, right? you know the big and call, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yes, that sir. in yes, a sir. second, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Hey, I want to thank you for uh, taking time, to chop it up in the smoke box. I know you busy and yeah, shit. Sure, man. Next time you come in, cause we got we're gonna do a part two. I'm gonna have them fucking grills ready. Yes sir. And I'm gonna, you know, it ain't gonna be me. It's gonna be Green Thumb yeah, in green here thumb. with you. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Oh, really? And we might be in a different whip. <laughs> yeah, man. Slightly upgraded. Yeah, yeah, you know what man. I'm saying? Right now we in the caddy. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? But Next time you come to Texas, we are gonna have to do it. Or we're gonna do it on my slab. Oh, we'll do it in your show. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, for sure. Part, that's yeah, gonna tell be us part about two, that. Part three part, whatever. You know yeah, what tell saying? us about that shit. Yeah, I, you know that's one thing that I, that Texas and Cali. Man, my grandparents are from California, so, so right. I always had like a big, strong California connection. Yeah. You know, so I always, you know, I had a, a good sense of, you know, like geographically, California spread out. You gotta have a car to get around. A lot of cities not like that. You know, in Texas like that too. A lot, you know. Well, it's in Houston, you got to have a car. If you ain't in a car, you ain't getting nowhere. You stuck. Yeah, Texas so, is huge. And, and people treat their car, you know, that you, you take pride in your car. You invest in your car. This is, you know, how we do. Because we always riding. We, from, you know, we ride. You might be riding across all it's across like the city. It's like your shoes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You take pride in them. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So we fix them up. You know what I'm saying? Down in Texas, we got our own way. It's a little bit different than the rest of the world. But, you know what I'm saying? This is how we do. You That's know what I'm saying? You do. We call them slabs. The way we, you know, put the candy paint on them. We got, you know, the elbows, the 84s we ride on them. You know what I'm saying? It's, a, it's some new ones out now, Texan Wire Wheel. Shout out to Texan Wire Wheel. We got them called GTs. I G-12. seen them on your whip. Yeah, for Last sure. time we was out there, yeah. you, you had the red whip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I yeah. saw yeah. that. Word up, man. Y'all got to see it. Look, look it up on his IG. Yeah, Paul Wild Baby. Hit me up at Paul Wild Baby. That's right, man. Once again, I'd like to thank you. Sure. Always, yeah. you know, it's all brotherhood and family ship. Yes, sir. All that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments. Fuck with my man Paul Wall oh, yeah. always. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna collab it up soon, you know. That For that's sure. just got to happen. Word up. Mm-hmm.